Welcome to Mac Power Product Demo. This is Mac Power Portable Inverter Model M42. Let us start by opening the package. This is the inverter itself. It is a small inverter as you can see. It is a 100 watts inverter with an inbuilt lithium ion battery rated at 42,000 milliamp hours. This is the wall charger with which you can recharge the product via NEPA or generator. This is the car charger which enables charging the products in a car through the cigarette lighter ports in the car. This is the car kit which is plugged in here to enable you power accessories like car refrigerator and other car accessories. And finally you have the product user manual. You will need to read the manual and register to be entitled to the manufacturer's warranty. The first thing you need to do is to charge this device until it is full. Plug the charger to the wall and connect to the device to charge. The blinking blue light indicates that the battery is charging. When the blue light stops blinking and remains steady, you know that the battery is fully charged and is ready to be used. Please do not overcharge. It is important to note here that this product can also be recharged using optional 40 watt solar panel. Having charged the battery fully, this product is now ready to be used. This product has boot alternating current AC and direct current DC outputs. These three ports are the DC ports where you can plug in DC appliances. Direct current appliances include some light bulbs and fluorescent tubes, standing fans, pressing irons, piano keyboards, public address systems, televisions, etc. These appliances are powered directly from the battery without needing to be converted to alternating current. This set of three USB ports are meant to be used to recharge or power USB devices like your phones, tablets, Bluetooth devices, power banks, USB speakers, etc. Finally, we come to the alternating current AC output. Here you connect regular electrical appliances like clippers, standing fans, phones, televisions and DSTV decoders, etc. You can actually connect an extension cable here and then connect your appliances to the extension provided that all appliances connected at any given time do not exceed 100 watts. This is the battery level indicator. You press this button to check the battery level. This is the inverter on stroke off button. This red light comes on whenever the inverter is switched on. Anytime you want to use the AC output, you have to press this button to switch on the inverter. When you are done using the inverter, you press the button again to switch off the inverter and save your battery. The DC outputs do not have a switch because they are directly connected to the battery. This is the touch light. It comes on when you press the light button. It switches to emergency light when you press the button again and finally switches off when the button is pressed a third time. Here are the product specifications. You may have to pause the video to read through. Now let us use the device to power some appliances. This is a 10 watts LED fluorescent tube. It is a DC appliance. It can be connected directly to the DC port. The device can power this for 24 hours. This is a 5 watts LED reading lamp. This one is an alternating current AC device or appliance. This one will last for about 48 hours before the battery goes down. This is a 15 watts standing fan. This fan is both direct current and alternating current. It's both DC and AC. Even though it is native DC, but through a converter, um, you can plug it to AC, which will convert it from AC to DC before it goes into the fan. This fan will last for 12 hours before the battery goes down. You can connect the, the, the DC, the fan to the DC ports of the device by using this cable. It's a DC to DC in cable. Connects like this from here and connects to the, to the fan and the power zone. You can also use the AC charger or converter of the fan that comes with the fan to connect it to the AC ports. 
it will also convert it from the alternating current to the right current before it goes to the, to the, to the fan. This one is a Bagsy box. It's a 10 watts device and it's AC device. With a Bagsy box, you can, this device can power a Bagsy box for about 24 hours before the battery goes down. This is a 24 inches LED TV. Together with the Go TV decoder or DSTV decoder, this one can work for about four to five hours before the battery will go down. Now, this laptop is a 35 watts laptop. This device will power this laptop for about six hours. If your battery is good, you can get as many as much more hours because you charge for about two hours, it is full. You stop the device and use the battery down. Charge for another two hours, it is full. So you can get a whole day, more than a day actually, if your battery is good. But if your battery is not good, you are going to get six hours straight with this laptop. And then for the phones, a normal Android phone of about 2,000 milliamp hours, will, this device will charge it about 21 times. In other words, you can plug, plug 10 phones and charge them and charge them again. Fill up and fill up again. This is a clipper. Clipper is about 15 watts. You plug it here and buy it on. Yeah. You see, it's, it's working. I hear the sound. It's working. So if you're in a bathing salon, this is a good equipment for you. You can carry as many as your TV, you can carry your lights. Salon. If you're running a boutique, you can power your lights and power your TV and other things you have in a boutique. This is a good device. Now that's about the Mac Power M42. If you require to power a bigger load than this model can carry, we suggest you go for the higher model, the M120, which is a 400 watts inverter with an inbuilt lithium polymer battery rated at 120,000 milliamp hours. This model is about four times bigger and lasts about three times longer than the M42 model. Thank you.